Hello mga kawamat! In this video lesson, we will discuss about distinguishable permutation. Distinguishable permutation is the arrangement of objects with identical objects. Kung saan ang gagamitin natin formula is n factorial over n sub 1 factorial times n sub 2 factorial times n sub 3 factorial up to n sub k factorial. So, where n is the total number of objects, yung n sub 1 is the objects of the first kind, and yung n sub 2 is the objects of the second kind, and n sub k referring for the objects of the k kind. Let's say we have the numbers. Okay, we're going to find the numbers of different ways of placing 15 balls in a row given that 5 are red, 4 are green, 3 are yellow, 2 are blue, and 1 black. So, again, find the numbers of different ways of placing 15 balls in a row given that 5 are red, 4 are green, 3 are yellow, 2 are blue, and 1 black. So first, yung unang-una yung kukunin is yung total number of objects. So ilan ba lahat? So since nakalagay naman dito yung total number of objects, so that is 15. No? So yung n is equal to 15. Saka natin isa-isahin yung uh, bawat objects, kung tig-iilan. So, after natin makuha yung total number of objects, so, isa-isahin natin yung bawat objects. So, since dito, ang pinag-uusapan natin is yung bilang ng kulay ng bola. Okay. So, first is yung red. no Kung ilan yung red. So, that is the n sub 1. So, n sub 1 is equal to 5. So, 5 is referring to the number of red balls. And next, n sub 2 is equal to 4. So, ito naman yung green. And n sub 3, that is 3. So, yan naman yung sa yellow. And n sub 4, that is 2. Yan naman yung, nasa, uh, yung sa blue. At n sub 5 is 1. So, yung 1 black. Okay, so gamit yung formula kanina para makuha natin yung permutation. So that is the n factorial over n sub 1 factorial times n sub 2 factorial times n sub 3 factorial to the last object, no? Kung ilan yon. So ang gagawin lang natin is substitute lang natin ang mga ito sa formula natin. So yung n natin is 15, so that is 15 factorial over 5 factorial, 4 factorial, 3 factorial, 2 factorial, and 1 factorial. And then, simplify lang natin. So, expand natin yung 15 factorial up to uh, 5 factorial para makancel natin yung 5. Okay? So, that is 15 times 14 times 13 times 12 times 11, times 10, times 9, times 8, times 7, times 6, times 5 factorial. All over the uh, 5 factorial, times 4 factorial, times 3 factorial, times 2 factorial, and times 1 factorial. So, dito, makakancel natin yung 15. And then, uh, kun evaluate natin yung mga value nitong nasa denominator natin. So, yung 4 factorial, pag in natin ito, so that is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So, that is 24. Yung 3 factorial naman, that is 3 times 2 times 1. And that is 6. And 2 factorial, that is 2. And yung 1 factorial, that is 1. So, dito, meron tayong mga cancel, yung, twain, uh, yung 12 natin at yung 24. So, parang 12 over 24 yan. So, meron tayong 2 dito. Okay? So, lo ilulowest term natin yung 12 saka 24. So, meron, this is 1 and this is 2. So, hindi na natin ilagay si 1 dito. And then, maka-cancel natin yung 6. 
Okay? And also, yung, so ang natira na lang dito sa denominator natin is 2 times 2, that is 4 times 1, 4. Okay, so 4 na lang yung natira sa denominator natin na kung saan pwede natin uh, makancel yung 8. No? So, 8 divide 4, so may matitirang 2 sa taas. So, ibig sabihin, ito na lang yung imumultiply natin para makuha natin yung permutation nito. So, that is 15 times 14 times 13 times 11 times 10 times 9 times 2 times 7. The answer is 37,837,800. No, different ways of placing 15 balls in a row. So, ganyan karami. Example number 2, how many ways can we arrange the letters in the word committee? Okay? So, bibilangin natin yung mga letters sa word na uh, committee. So, first, how many letters no, sa word na to? So, yun yung value ng N natin. So, bibilangin natin. So, that is 9. So, bilang tayo. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, ibig sabihin, yung total number of letters natin is 9. And then, isa-isahin natin yung mga letters. Tapos, bibilangin natin kung ilan lahat sa word na yan. No? First is yung M. So, yung M natin is 2, okay, kasi meron tayong dalawang M. So, represent natin yung M as N sub 1. So, N sub 1 is equal to 2. And then, yung T natin ay dalawa din. So, that is the N sub 2. Yung E natin is 2 din. So, that is N sub 3. And then, okay. So, hindi na natin, pwedeng di na natin kunin yung C, yung O, so, yung dalawa lang at saka yung I. Okay? Yung tatlo, yung C, O, saka yung I. Kasi class, tigi-isa lang naman sila. So, kasi yung 1 factorial is equal to 1. So, pwedeng hindi na natin sila isama dun sa solution natin. So, ito na lang yung isama natin. Para hindi ganun kahaba yung solution natin. Again, so, pwedeng, uh, pwedeng yung ilagay or pwedeng namang hindi nyo na ilagay since tigi-isa lang naman sila. Okay, so gamit yung formula, substitute lang natin. 9 factorial over 2 factorial times 2 factorial times 2 factorial. Okay, so may mga scientific calculator, madali lang ito kunin. No? Okay, may mga kung calculator gagamitin nyo. Pero kapag ano, syempre imamanual natin. So, that is 9. Expand lang natin to 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5, times 4, times 3, times 2 factorial. So, makakancel natin yung 2 factorial. So, may maiiwan tayo sa denominator na 4. Kasi 2 factorial is 2, times 2 factorial, and that is also 2. So, 2 times 2, 4. So, pag minultiply natin, 9 times 8, times 7, times 6, times 5, times 4, times 3, that is 181,440. Divide it by 4, so the answer is 45,360 ways. Another example. Find the number of different arrangement of the following sets. Okay, so yung 911. Okay, so yung n natin is 3. Okay, yung first object natin is 9. That is, so ilan yung 9? 1. And then, ilan yung 1? Dalawa. Okay, so, ang gagawin lang, substitute lang natin, 3 factorial over 2 factorial times 1 factorial. Then, expand, and 3 factorial is equal to 6, and 2 factorial times 1 factorial, that is 2. So, 6 divide 2, that is 3. So, ibig sabihin, yung number of different arrangement of 911 is equal to 3. Next, 487 or 487747. So, ilan lahat yung N natin? 6. So, yung 4 natin is dalawa. Yung 7 natin is tatlo. 
So, yung 8, pwedeng hindi nyo na ilagay yung 8, okay? Kasi, ma isa lang naman siya. Okay, so, substitute natin sa formula. So, 6 factorial over 3 factorial times 2 factorial. So, hindi na natin sinama si 1. So, 6 factorial, that is 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 factorial. So, makakancel natin yung 3 factorial. So, may iwan sa taas, 6 times 5, 30 times 4, 120. Over 2 factorial is 2. So, 120 divide 2, the answer is 60. Next, A, A, B, C, 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 D. Okay, so ilan lahat yung total number of letters natin? So, okay, unahin muna natin yung bilang ng bawat isang letter. So, yung A natin, meron tayong dalawa. Yung B natin, isa. Yung letter C natin, meron tayong tatlo. At letter D, merong isa. Okay, so yung N natin is 7 lahat. Okay, 7. Then, 7 factorial over 3 factorial times 2 factorial. So, as you notice class, makikita natin na yung 1 ay hindi na natin sinama. Okay, yung 3 na lang sa 2. So, 7 factorial over 3 factorial times 2 factorial. So, yung 7 factorial, that is 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 factorial. So, makakancel natin yung 3 factorial. So, 7 times 6 times 5 times 4, that is 840, divide 2, the answer is 420. Okay, another example. In how many ways can 2 blue marbles and 4 red marbles be arranged in a row? Okay, so ilan lahat? So, yung N natin is 6. Okay, meron tayong 4 na red marbles at dalawang blue marbles. So, using the formula, that is 6 factorial over 4 factorial times 2 factorial. So, that is 6 times 5 times 4 factorial over 4 factorial times 2 factorial. So, cancel natin si 4 factorial. So, that is 30 divide 2. The answer is 15. So, another. Fate both for vanilla... Vanilla ice cream cones, 3 chocolate cones, and 2 strawberry cones, and 5 ubi langka cones for her 14 tutors. Okay? In how many ways can she distribute the cones among her tutors? Okay, so yung unang gagawin, bibilangin natin lahat. Okay, yung number of cones. And that is... 14, no? Kasi 14 tutors. So, so, 14. So, 14 factorial. So, meron tayong 5 na ubi lang ka over 5 factorial. And 4 vanilla ice cream. So, meron tayong 4 factorial. And 3 chocolate cones. So, that is 3 factorial. And 2 strawberry cones. So, that is 2 factorial. So, hindi ko na siya nilagay dito isa-isa. So, that will be 14 factorial over 5 factorial times 4 factorial times 3 factorial times 2 factorial. And that is 14 times 13 times 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 factorial. So, makakancel natin yung 5 factorial. And then, Kapag minultiply natin yung sa baba at sa taas, so, 14 times 13 times 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6. So, itong makukuha natin, no? 726 million, 485,760 over 288. Bakit 288? 4 factorial, that is 4 times 3, 12. Okay, times 2, 24, times 1, 24 pa rin. Ang 3 factorial is, is 6. So, 24 times 6 times 2, the answer is 288. Then, divide lang natin. So, that is 2,522,520. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. 
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.